To solve a question like this on the GMAT, um, we need to focus on the equation given for n, which is that. And recognizing that if you look at a 3 to the 8 very carefully and a 2 to the 8 very carefully, there seems to be possibly the option to use a difference of two squares. Um, just to remind you what difference of two squares is again, it simply much, pretty much says a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Alright, so if we use that idea, we can come into this question and take a look at it and rewrite the n as 3 to the um, 3 to the 4 with a square outside and a 2 to the 4 with a square outside. What that allows us to do is to recognize the difference of two squares and break that up some more into 3 to the 4 plus 2 to the 4 and 3 to the 4 minus 2 to the 4. And the reason why we're doing all of this is to recognize the question is saying that which of these answer choices is not a factor of this. So if we can take this number and break it up into that and then further break it up into that, if we can somehow figure out what these numbers are, it's going to be easier to look at in one of these guys and see which one is not a factor of it. So let's continue our break up here. Um, we can also recognize at this point... Um, Honestly, at this point, uh, we can we can go ahead and break up the we can go ahead and break up the three to the four minus two to the four some more because that can be broken up as a three to the two three to the two squared minus two to the two squared, which breaks up as three to the two plus two to the two and 3 to the 2 minus 2 to the 2 and we still have the 3 to the 4 plus 2 to the 4 option at this point we can go ahead and um, start figuring out what these values are going to give us we know that the um, we know that the 3 to the 4 is the 81 there uh, and this is 16 we know that this is going to be your 9 plus your 4, and this is your 9 minus your 4. So this ends up giving us 97, ends up giving us 13, ends up giving us 5. Okay. All right, so at this point, we look at everything and we say, well, um, for one of these guys to not be a factor, it means it cannot go in these values, which is the value of n. So at this point, this is our new n value. So essentially what you want to do is take each one of these and try to see if you can divide it through into this. If we take 97 and run it over here, um, under here, um, so if we drew a line, so what we are doing pretty much is we are taking each one of these values and putting it at the bottom and seeing if it would divide with something at the top here. 97 would divide, so we can actually cross 97 out. Um, we can also see, but just by looking at it, that 13 and 5 will also divide. So we could cross 13 and 5 off. Now we're left with 35 and 65. Well, one of the things you could recognize here is that pretty much if you did 13 minus 15, uh, 13 times 15, that is a 65. So essentially, this 65 would also divide, meaning if we put 65 over here, we could run it through these two. So at this point, all we have left is um, the 35. The 35 is the only thing, if we had to put 35 here, we could not get this 35 to go into 97 or to go into 13 or to go into 5 or to even go into a combination of any one of these to go into 35. So as a result, the answer we want is 35. It's the only number which is not a factor of n, where n is 97, 30, 13, and 5. Thank you.